Controlling Workers' Comp Costs, Part 3. Comp is comp, right? There's nothing you can do about that. Some version of this statement is often repeated each renewal period by insurance companies and agents. They've been trained to accept that because work comp coverage is statutory. The only way to buy it is to find the lowest price. Why not? Each policy offers the same coverage and injured employees receive the same benefits when they suffer injuries, don't they? But the truth of the matter is that work comp costs can be controlled, and the path to controlling them begins with making certain that all relevant information is current and accurate, down to the smallest detail. Think of a detective speaking with a witness to a crime. Tell me everything you know, even if you think it's not important. So where to begin? Step three, recovery at work. Building an effective recovery at work program is another crucial piece in controlling workers' comp costs. This program should be designed to make sure that any injured employee has productive work to do, even if the employee can't return to the full duty job right away. Employees who recover at work and their employers reap many benefits. Employees tend to recover more quickly when back on the job. Employers can reap the benefit of not losing 100% of the employee's productivity while they are unable to perform their regular duty job. Being at work makes it less likely that an employee will hire an attorney during the worker's comp claim process. Complex cases may benefit from the involvement of legal professionals, but most cases are not complex and attorney involvement serves to dramatically extend the cost and duration of the workers' comp injury process. On top of these benefits, in most states, if the employer returns to work before lost wage payments from the insurance company kick in, the employer will get a 70% discount on the injury when it is calculated into the experience mod. Keeping an injury medical only dramatically reduces an injury's actual cost and also reduces the impact that injury has on the employer's premium cost. Driving an employer's workers' compensation cost to their lowest legal minimum can be a challenging process. Taking the steps to accurately classify the business, being sure the audit is completed correctly, and building a recovery at work program are three steps that every insurance and employer can take with their clients to start the process. Any questions? Give us a call. Maybe we can help.